Welcome to the 2016 Census Data Packs tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn all there is to know about the Data Packs product. To access Data Packs, first you will need to navigate to the Census homepage. Once on the homepage, click the Data Packs link within the middle column. Data Packs is a free product that contains comprehensive data about people, families, and dwellings for available geographic areas, with associated geographic information system digital boundary files available. There are six different data pack profiles, general community profiles, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, time series, place of enumeration, and working population. The sixth profile is estimated resident population which will become available in 2018. For further explanation, you can click the Read More Community Profile Information button at the bottom of the page. To open the Data Packs product, click the Open Data Packs button. This will lead you to the selection page with multiple drop-downs. The first drop-down will allow you to select the year you want your data from. If you select the year 2011, you will need to choose the descriptor type for your data pack. This step has been removed from the 2016 year choice, as new data packs will be supplied with short column descriptor labels, and metadata will include supplementary details for sequential and long label descriptors. The second drop-down allows you to select the data pack type. You will be able to select from six different data pack profile types, as well as an estimated resident population data pack type. The third drop down allows you to select the geography type. The available options will depend on which profile was chosen in the second drop down. Once you've made your selections, the grid of available download links will update below. To download a specific data pack, simply click on a blue arrow that corresponds to the state or territory that you'd like data for. The download grid also includes digital boundary files specific to each of the available geographies located in the last two columns. These are particularly relevant and useful when working with mapping software. Please note that all data pack downloads have been compressed and will require decompression software such as WinZip in order to open or view the files. To illustrate what you'll get when you click on one of the data pack downloads, We'll now run through an example. Let's assume that we want to download the 2016 Census time series data packs for all geographies relevant to the ACT. In the Select Census Year drop-down, select 2016 Census data packs. In the Select Data Packs type drop-down, select Time Series Profile. In the Select Geography drop-down, select All Geographies. Finally, click the blue arrow underneath the ACT. This should start the download. Once your download has finished, open it with your choice of decompression software. The data pack file, once opened, will contain three folders. A folder labelled with the year, geography type and region, a folder called metadata, and a readme folder, which contains a collection of help documents. The first folder, in this case the 2016 Census GCP States and Territories for ACT, will contain a collection of Excel booklets which hold tabled data. Note the name of each of these Excel booklets. These reference the pages from the corresponding community profile, another ABS product. Each cell in a data pack contains data identical to its relevant community profiles, tabled cells. The benefit of a data pack table, compared with that of a community profiles, is that each one only contains the raw data for a specific topic, allowing you to quickly and easily extract the information you need. The second folder, named Metadata, contains three files which can help you interpret the tables and metadata within a data pack. The 2016 Census Geographies description for first and second release file will provide a list of all geography structures in Australia, along with information on their level code, numbers, and area size. The next file offers the template for a community profile, 
Depending on which data pack you have opened, the file name may vary. Each table in a data pack has a corresponding page in the community profile. This can help provide a visual representation of the data provided in each data pack. The final file in the metadata folder is the metadata data pack. This contains a list that labels each of the tables in a data pack. Table G01, for example, will contain data on selected person characteristics by sex. The Cell Descriptors Information tab, found at the bottom of the screen, will open up a list containing all the headings used throughout a data pack, along with a description of each heading as well as the table it can be found within. This concludes the data pack tutorial.